Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Project Ozone 3. How are you doing? How's life? So in between the episodes, I went to the nether. I upgraded our meshes to diamond and sieved a lot of ores. We have plenty of them now. I also upgraded our furnaces to emerald and also installed some upgrades, which are awesome. So for instance, if we take, I don't know, gold and put one inside, see how fast it's processing it. And it doubles our ores, which is awesome. I'm very happy with this. It's also very efficient with charcoal. Look, actually we should not waste it. So let's put more. Since we also did not have enough space, I extended the platform a little bit so that I can hammer stuff. The plan for today is to make a fully functioning mob farm using the drop of evil that we found the last episode. But before doing that, you might notice that our platform is made out of oak and I don't like oak. <laughs> uh, I, I like wood for the roofing, but not the floor. So I want to use hempcrete because, uh, well, that's the block that I like. Unfortunately, we are going to need industrial hemp seeds and we need a lot of clay. So we need to work on that. Uh, we also are going to need a lot of dirt. So we need to compost sapling. And of course, I can automate this using a hopper. We can also automate the production of clay. And I ran out of saplings. Anyway, let me gather some stuff and I'll be right back. Instead of doing the dirt thing manually, I think we can just use a hopper here, put a barrel on top and put a hopper into it and just put saplings. So you should be composting, yes. And you should give me dirt. Yeah, that's good. I think for clay, we can also do literally the same thing and use a transfer node to transfer water into this. Are you getting water? Yes. So if I put dust, you will make clay and yep yeah. that was easy i sift through some dirt and have three industrial hemp seeds and now we are going to start everybody's favorite minecraft mod which is agricraft so we're going to need a seed analyzer which has a very crazy recipe for what it does but we need it anyway it's not a quest we put one of the seeds inside and analyze it let's see what are the attributes so it's growth one, gain one, strength one, and we need to 10, 10, 10 these. So let's start. Oh, blood moon. Awesome. We are going to craft the most useful item in Minecraft, a diamond hole. So this method only works in Project Ozone. You cannot do it in every single mod pack because there is a config file which disables it and I'm getting pebbles. Okay, we just double click. It's easier. So the way this works is that we're going to plant you here. And was it the one I analyzed? Yes, that is good. And we put this one here so that we don't get confused. This one will grow to this one, to this one, to this one, to this one, and all along the uh, line of dirt that I have. And every time that it uh, breeds over, it will gain one attribute. There's a chance that it will gain one attribute. And hopefully by the time it reaches the end, uh, it will be 10, 10, 10. If not, we just bring it back here, do this process all over again, and eventually it will be 10, 10, 10. Uh, I'm not gonna stay here all the time, but uh, I'll gather some resources and I'll update you on the progress. I just spent the last 45 minutes trying to understand why the hell the sprinklers are not working because I have the irrigation channel, I have the tank, I have an infinite water source and a translocator. And if we go up, everything is full of water. So I was thinking what the hell is wrong because they should be spinning. Apparently the mod has gone through an update and they no longer spin. They're functioning, but you don't get to know that. This is so nice. And this process is very slow. We are going to need a watering can, I guess. Uh, but I don't know which one... Can we make this? From our trip to the nether, I got some inferium, I got some prosperity shards, and I have more inferium. Let's try it. Uh, 
Apparently our experiment works because this is growth 3, gain 4, strength 4. And it's just like 5 plants. <laughs> okay, that's very good. So I'll be doing this for every single seed that we're going to get. Off camera, so don't worry. We don't have any means of collecting crops right now, but I made an inferior seed. Alright guys, I managed to 10, 10, 10, 3 industrial hemp seeds and I think we also have two inferior tier 1 seeds, which are also 10, 10, 10, because when you right click, instead of 1, you will get 9. This should also give me... yeah, that gave me 10. <laughs> so these two are also 10, 10, 10. We probably did not have to 10-10-10 these seeds because when you upgrade them I don't think they will keep their stats but I just wanted to show you how to 10-10-10 the crops so that I don't know if next episode I have uh, more crops that are 10-10-10 you know where they come from. Anyway, I managed to get some industrial hemp and we have hempcrete so I made a platform for our new mob farm which is going to be here. So the oak planks are the boundaries of the mob farm. Um, it will have an internal space of 7x7 seven seven, and I think that should be enough. Since we are going to have a drop of evil, I want to also make a proper mob farm. So I don't want to make a platform where I have to go and smack them down one by one. I want to have a mob crusher from industrial for going. So for that we are also going to need power and latex. Let's gather some stuff. For generating RF, even though that it is a blood moon and we cannot skip the nights, I want to use solar panels. I checked the recipes and until solar panel tier 6, which generates 2048 RF, and you get two of them, we have every single material that it's going to need. Literally everything. And we have them in large quantities. I made a small calculation and apparently if we make four stacks of solar panel tier 1s, we should be able to make a solar panel tier 6. I'm not sure, but I have prepared the recipe. So, we're going to make a lot of mirrors. That's for 2 stacks of tier 1 and 4 stacks of tier 1. So, we're going to make 1 stack, 2 stacks, 3, and I'm out of wood. And the fourth one, inventory management is a pain. Of course, then we are going to upgrade them to tier 2. You know guys, I could not have managed making the solar panels without these furnaces because it's dappling our ore and if you put sand inside, it will also dapple your sand. Look, we will get to glass. <laughs> these furnaces are amazing. I love them. Okay, I think we can now make tier 3s. That's all of them, right? Yeah. Good. Tier 4 and Tier 5. So the problem is that I might have made a slight miscalculation because this is the last of my lapis. Yeah, we have nothing else. That's bad. I'm literally running low on everything, but I think we can just make it. So, can you do that? Yes! That's 4000 RF. Haha. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I know that I can go to the quest and start gathering these RAKs in order to get these legendary rewards, but I'm not gonna do that just to annoy you. In order to make the mob grinder or any device from industrial for going, we're going to need plastic. How do we get plastic? We get it from dry rubber, and dry rubber comes from tiny dry rubber, which comes from a latex processing unit. How do you get latex? You're going to need these three fluid extractors. So you put them here and you put a log in the front and without power you will get latex so uh, I made a few more and we put you here and another one there the latex processing unit goes here and we need to extract the latex from these uh, three fluid extractors to the processing unit so we need pipes I have pipes good this and this good this guy needs power and water so let's get them. So this guy has water and if we provide you with power, you do work, right? Yes, that is good. And we get tiny dry rubber. Oh, by the way, we can use a mechanical user for uh, auto feeding the logs, but uh, I'm not picky right now. I, we just need a few pieces of rubber and that's it. And yes, we have a plastic sheet. 
we need, I think, five or six of them. Because we also need the range upgrade. So the mob crusher requires books. We have leather, but we don't have paper and we don't have sugarcane. Well, I think we have sugarcane seeds somewhere. Yes, we do. But when you have Exnilio in the pack, I think you can just hammer down wood. I think that should give you sawdust. And it's mechanism sawdust. Okay, that's good. So you would use four sawdust with a bucket of water and you will get two paper. You use three of them like this and you will get six. Why would you do that? And one mob crusher. In order for our mob crusher to work, uh, we're going to need some conduits from Ender.io and we don't have an alloy smelter, but I think this recipe is not disabled. We should be able to get pulsating iron. Yeah, seems to be working, so we can just cast it out and make our item conduits. I can also make some energized alloy. So some energy conduits and some item conduits. And this is going to be our mob farm. I'll probably change the blocks because uh, it's early game. I don't have access to any other thing than cobblestone. So for now, it's going to stay here. Once we get into Botania and get the Rod of the Shifting Crust, I can easily change them. But anyway, we have an energy conduit which goes to the solar panel. I had to make a translocator in order to gather the essence because I could not make fluid conduits. They need fused quartz. There is an item conduit which comes down here and here we are going to set up the drawers. But uh, first I want to make a small filter and see what kind of loots we are getting. Um, I also think that the solar panel that we have up there is actually too strong. <laughs> it generates 2000 RF. I don't know if this guy needs 2000 RF. But in any case, if it requires less, I can craft a lower tier one. So let me set it up and I'll bring you back. There is a little bit of light coming from here because I do not have access to a painting machine and I cannot make facades. But I think for now we can just do this. This guy also has a range upgrade. Later I will put speed upgrades and apparently there is also a fortune upgrade. So let's drop this and run I guess. Is there anything? Yep, I heard something. Yes! To... I hear explosions. Apparently it was nothing very important, but in any case, I don't want to make oak drawers, I want them to look a little bit different. So, with a flint block, it looks like this. And we can put inferior borders. Maybe the opposite would look better? Nope, that's garbage. With stone, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I like it. Let's keep this one. Well, these are the items that I decided to keep. It's funny that we're getting wither skeleton skulls. I mean, the fragments and also drops of evil. <laughs> but in any case, I don't think we get anything else of significant. I also have a loot bag recycler here. So every loot bag goes in, we get legendary ones out. And I saw that we also have an artifact loot bag, which uh, it has its own separate drawer, so everything will go directly there. Um, there's actually not much else that I want from here, except these guys maybe. Meal ready to eat, right? From Abyssal Craft. Oh, that's nice. And it gives you a dirty plate. I'm not washing it. So just as a curiosity, can we compost rotten flesh? Oh yeah, that's good. It gives me dirt, right? Because I was running low on saplings and this is very helpful. You might notice that I'm not doing the quests in a very particular order. I'm basically doing the things that I think would be useful for us. So for instance, we have a mob farm, we have some essence, we have a resource generation and we have RF generation. I think now that we have decent amount of resources and I just came back from the nether in order to gather some resources, uh, we should be able to get into applied energistics and maybe make an applied energistic system to store our items. Uh, that's actually doable. It's tier 3. Okay. That's actually easy. Let me gather some stuff and I'll be right back. That's plenty of diamond. Oh wow. I'm rich. 
The thing is that with the ore processing upgrade, this guy actually quadruples the ores that you get from the nether. Look. I love you. Okay, so in order to make the inscriber itself, we are going to need uh, slime balls. Uh, there is a slime island over there, which is just out of the render distance, but you can see it from the mob farm. I'm not willing to scaffold over there, but I think we should be able to make slime balls using rice. That would be the easiest thing. So we make dough, and that gives us four. That's awesome. For now, I'm going to make four inscribers because then I can upgrade them to the advanced inscriber. Oh, you only need one. Why did I think you need two? Okay, that's fine. So I've been thinking why not make the controller as well because we have everything. We just need the sky stone and we just have to drop you inside lava. You go here. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So finally, this guy is operational. I'm very happy with this. Alright guys, I think it's also time to wrap up the episode because I'm literally out of resources. This is the total amount of redstone that we have and I just got it from a loot bag. Look, uh, we don't have any redstone. So I have to gather more resources, I have to clean this place up and I have to get prepared for the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.